Hey everyone, this is Key. I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can, but um, I have got some revelation concerning the 144,000. I pray that you guys receive this message um, and understand it to the fullest um, of your capability through the Holy Spirit. Um, as most of you know, there's going to be 144,000 of the remnants of the church that's going to stay and do the bidding of God. Um, in the tribulation and the devil is setting up 144,000 himself this is going to be a great deception to the world and I pray that we be prepared and when God showed me this it bothered my spirit because we have no idea the magnitude of the deception that is coming to the world these light workers, as they're calling themselves, light workers, are spiritualist. The way he's going to deceive them is by the form of consciousness and a higher awareness. These are going to be the words they're going to use to deceive the people. And they're going to think that they are going to be receiving a greater consciousness and being one with the universe. What they're really going to do is be opening themselves up for possession through the evil spirits. And if we know the evil spirits are the Nephilim of the Bible. This is very disturbing because if you look at today and how people look so much for awareness or consciousness, they're hungry for it. They're hungry for greater understanding. Not biblical understanding, but spiritual understanding. Now keep in mind when I say spiritual understanding, there is the spirit, which is through the Holy Spirit. And there's other spirits. This is something that we have to be aware of. We're not fighting a flesh and blood battle. We're fighting against principalities and spiritual forces. These spiritual forces have been around for a very long time. These light workers are going to be around here opening themselves up for demons. God did not call us to be light workers. He called us to be the light. You have to understand this. He didn't call us to be light workers. He called us to be the light. We are the light. He shines in us, through us, and on us. The devil's name is Lucifer. And his name means light bearer. Right? He comes appearing as light. And those light workers, those demons are going to be coming saying, I'm going to bring the light to the world. How are they going to do this? The resurrection is going to happen. The rapture is going to happen. And when it happens, the demons are going to be able to be released on the earth. See, the Holy Spirit is holding back the evil now. They're holding back the darkness. But once the church is raptured, the Holy Spirit is going with it. Now, the true 144,000 are going to be left behind. That is the remnants of the church, the 12 tribes of um, Israel. They're going to be left. And they're going to have the power of God um, in their veins. And they're going to do miraculous things. And I, I thank God for them. I pray that we're not here. Those of you that, that have professed Christ as your Lord and Savior, you should be raptured up. But there's going to be some that are left that never had the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ. They're going to be preaching to those people. But the devil has made a deception so great that he has made up. See, the devil wants to be God. And he's going to mirror everything God does and did to create deception. So if you're not aware of what true light looks like, the counterfeit light will look pleasing to you in the midst of chaos. You're not going to check it out. So it's very important that if you're watching this before the rapture or after, after the rapture, know this. The only 
level of consciousness you need is the consciousness to let you know that you need Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The only level of awareness you need is the fact that God raised him from the dead three days later with all power and authority in his hand. Jesus Christ is the only thing you need. There's no chanting. There's no no memorization things you have to do. There's no, there's no, there's no gimmicks when it comes to the bloodshed of Christ. Deception's coming. Deception's coming. And I pray that the light workers that are going to deceive the world, I pray that the hand of God comes against them. And the ones that are actually the watchmen, the 144, the prophets, I pray that God's hand is always on you and that you use wisdom and knowledge to be able to save the world and the people that God has called his own. I pray that you guys have the mark of God on you and that you anoint people and cover them with the blood of Christ. Don't be deceived. You people that are spiritualist, that are looking for a greater awareness of life. Don't let your flesh send you to hell because of your lack of understanding about the cross. I understand it's hard to comprehend. But if you just open yourself up to the Holy Spirit, not to spirits, the Holy Spirit. He will teach you and guide you. Not everything that glitters is gold. Be careful. Be watchful. Spread this word, please, saints. Spread this word that deception is coming. And if you're calling yourself a light worker and you profess Christ as your Lord and Savior, be careful. I'm not saying you can't use that word, but explain to people what that truly means. That you're not just a light worker. You are indeed the light. And that light does not come from just spirits or the earth or, 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 or nature. It comes from the bloodshed of Christ. It comes from the Holy Spirit. Be wise. Be ready. I love you. Stay encouraged.